Hi, good day everyone. My discussion is about the life of Philip Bayard Pilcross. Pilcross was born June 18, 1926 in West Virginia, United States. And he died August 18, 2001. He was a businessman and author who contributed to management and quality management practices. His father induced him to study pediatrics, although he never graduated. To make some money, Crosby starts working in a manufacturing plant. As he was gaining experience, he learned how to create methods to prevent problems in the factory. In 1952, he obtained a position as a technician at the Crossley Corporation in Richmond, Indiana. Also, he is one of the most highly respected and sought after quality management consultants and educators. Life and History of Dr. Philip Crosby Zero Defects Zero Defects was first introduced and implemented by Dr. Philip Crosby when he works in Ma Martins Corporation as a senior quality engineer. Management Theory Dr. Philip Crosby is one of the philosophers who give his in insights with regards on the total quality management. The Crosby Vaccine Crosby Vaccine is, is made as a medicine for the companies and corporation in order for the management to to avoid and prevent poor quality performance. And lastly, Quality is Free. Quality is Free is a book wrote by Dr. Philip Crosby that published in 1979. Good day. I'm here to continue discussing the life of Philip Crosby. His working life started on 1952 at Crosby Corporation, later switching on to the Bendix Corporation in 1955. Philip Crosby, one of his experience, was a quality manager. He also worked at ITT for 14 years and became a vice president and a quality director of ITT Responsibilities for Quality. In 1979, he founded Philip Crosby Associate Incorporation, teaching management on how to establish a preventive culture to get things done right in the first time. What are the four absolute of quality management? First absolute. The first absolute. The definition of quality conforms to requirements. The first absolute, the definition of quality is conformance to requirement, not goodness. Quality is not about goodness, but it is about meeting requirements. The management needs to respond on it. They need to decide what is what is the need. If they don't do, the operator should do. In addition, management has to provide adequate tools of uh, adequate tools to achieve the requirements so the management has the following three tasks to perform absolute the performance standard is zero defect here here crosby is stating that nothing less than perfect quality has has to be aimed setting targets below 100 percent is the start of downwards the measurement of quality is the price on non-conformance. Quality has not been measured as a cause order, a cause in order to, at, to attract the attention of management, like Huaran Crosby, and also believes in costing the quality as powerful motivator for management. It was classified into type. Total quality management principles, four pillars of making quality certain. Uh, number one, management participation and attitude. Overcome traditional definition of quality. Uh, mas okay kung magpa-participate yung mga management tas meron silang magandang attitude kasi uh, associated yung mga yun sa overall quality. Number two is professional quality management must be at the same level as another department. Same level as another department kasi mahalaga yung competition. Tapos yung professional quality management is about sa pag-control and organize ng mga qualities. Uh, dapat competitive sa ibang department pero dapat consistent yung ano, consistent yung quality. Consistent din yung quality. Tapos 
Number three is original programs, numerous programs at unit level. Original programs, sariling programs na nasa basic level para pwede pang ma-improve. Example na lang, uh, nari company may bagong program, then kailangan nila simulan sa basic level yun. Para yung mga employee, madalian lang, then ma-improve pa sila. Nagsimula, para nagsimula sa baba, tapos may improve sila pataas. The number four is uh, recognition, shining star of the entire integrity system. Mm. Recognition, uh, yung shining star is kasi alam mo yung maganda yung product quality mo. Pag nirecognize ng tao, yun yung shining star. Kunyari, makita lang nila yung product mo. Uh, nagsashine yung product mo sa mata nila, kaya shining star. Kunyari, makita nila yung product mo, masasabi, masasabi nila na, uy, ito yung maganda. So, nagsashine talaga sa mata nila kaya. Next is a uh, 14 step quality improvement program. Management step one. First and foremost, management must be committed to improving the quality in a company. This commitment must be transparent to all employees so that proper attitudes toward the fair, towards a zero defect product of service model. Then number two, formulate the quality improvement team. <clears throat> Forming a quality improvement team is a second step to achieving total quality management. Search for team members and who will model quality improvement commitment and who are not really overcommitted to other projects that quality improvement team should to be able effectively commit themselves to improvement of quality. Number three. Measure for quality in current practice. Before you can establish a plan for improving quality, you first have to know exactly where you, where your product and services lie when it comes to conforming the conforming to requirements. Those the third step on cross this this is to measure quality, determine where there is room for improvement and where potential for improvement exists. Number four, what will the cost of quality be? How much, how much is your cost? The non-conformance to standards, what is the cost of, for quality? By answering this question, you can demonstrate to all companies, employees, that there is a need quality improvement system explain how the cost quality figures into the overall company plan number five quality awareness is central to success you will need you will need to raise employee awareness to the importance of quality management by doing this and making quality a central concern to employees you will increase the like likelihood that your quality improvement effort will be realized. Number six, remember the quality problems, take corrective action. By now, you will have to, you will have determined what your company's quality problems are. It is now to, it is now time to take corrective action and eliminate the defects that you have been identified. Be sure that you be, be sure that you install a system using casual analysis techniques to ensure that these problems don't reoccur in the future. Number seven, plan for zero defects. You need to create a committee to ensure that there are zero defects in your product and service. For Crosby, it is enough. It, 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 it's not enough. Remember to have as a few a possible defects. Instead, you really need to have this number at zero. Establish zero defect tolerance in your company. 14 step quality improvement program. Number 8 is uh, supervisor training. Supervisor training, ito yung tinitrain nila yung bawat empleyado para malaman yung mga pwedeng nilang gawing strategy na magamit when it comes to manufacturing. Number 9 is Zero Defect Day. 
Ito yung isa sa mga sinisigurado ng supervisor na dapat wala silang magawa na product na mali. Dapat as much as possible sa unang gawa ay maayos agad. Then number 10 is goal setting. Goal setting is ito yung plan or goal na ginagawa ng management para ma-improve nila yung quality of products and service ng company. Then uh, number 11 is a uh, Error cost removal. Ito yung proseso ng pag-aalis pag ng mga maling products pagdating sa manufacturing. Then number 12 is recognition. Recognition. Dapat nagbibigay ka din ng mga recognition sa mga empleyado para ma-motivate pa sila na gawin yung trabaho nila. Quality councils number 13. Uh, quality councils. Ito yung instrument na ginagamit para ma-maintain ng management yung idea na dapat laging may room for quality improvement. Then, number 14 is, uh, do it again. Do it again means, gawin yung or din mo lang yung 14 step ng quality improvement program para alam, para alam mo na yung magiging maayos yung, yung pag-manage mo sa isang manufacturing. Good morning! We are the group Three. And we are here to present. Wait. Parang di natin si Daka klase. Di natin turo. Di natin turo. Di natin si Daka klase yun. Oh. Sorry po. Sorry, Sorry po. po. Maling klase. Sorry po. Maling room. Maling room. Bye bye. Good day. My name is Emmanuel Cuadro. And I'm Christian Mendoza. And I'm Vivian Perez. And we are here to talk about zero, zero defects. defects. First of all, what is zero defects? Zero Defects is a standard created by Philip Crosby which aims to lessen the amount of defective products or units from the production. Zero Defects does not aim entirely on perfection but tries to get near it as close as it can. But how does Zero Defects work? It is a management tool or process which aims to reduce the number of defects through prevention. It's directed at motivating people to prevent mistakes by developing a constant conscious desire to do their job right at the first time. Here is a sample of what I am talking about which implies a good and bad employee to employer relationship and how it affects their work. Uy, congrats sir, yun sa huling trabaho mo, sampung ginawa mo, sampu yung tumama. Ang Uy, ganun. talaga sir. Walang kamali-mali. Oh my god, thank you, I'm glad. Dahil po. dyan, yun sa next ano mo, meron kang benefits. Thank you sir, the best boss ka talaga. Sige. Oh, ikaw naman bibi, nakita ko yung huli mong ginawa. Sampung ginawa mo, apat lang yung tumama ah. Uh, Alam ba naman yan? Sorry Ayusin mo ngayon sa susunod. Sorry po. In addition, from a literal standpoint, the ZD or Zero Defects at administrating standard which help both employee and employer and, in, and increase the employee and employer relationship. But, unfortunately, there are no perfection, but at least it might not be achievable but can reach the quest and push quality improvements. Also, Zero Defects is about changing your perspective and it is a measure against which any a system, process, action, or outcome can be analyzed. In Zero Defects, there are no step-by-step -step instruction for achieving it. However, there are some guidelines and techniques for Zero Defects. It is effective because it is adaptable to any situations like business and industries. Zero Defects is, a, is an effective philosophy for quality management. You will make your own rules and set your own standards. A lot of organizations are achieving this theory because it is an effective way to have a good outcome or to have a good quality. Also, the Zero Defects planning is the seven steps in the 14 steps of quality improvement program. And that's all you have to know about Zero Defects. And just a friendly reminder, keep safe from the coronavirus, wash your hands regularly, don't leave your home if not necessary, avoid being with a crowded place. Thank you everyone!